Hey everyone, it's Deacon, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga! In the last episode, we learned some cool new techniques to jump higher and traverse gaps, but we still didn't earn our 100 coins we needed. So in this episode, we're going to continue deeper into the Stardust Fields. And let's see what we can do this time. Now, I didn't show these enemies last time, but we fought them several times. There are new enemies that show up. These are the Bill Blasters. What they do is they shoot bullet bills, but they can't be damaged except by an attack. So we're going to try out our bros attacks in this episode. Well, that was a pitiful start. I'm not used to the no slow motion. Anyway, here's Bounce Bros. I guess we'll just go no slow motion because it's what I'm used to. And that didn't work either. <laughs> okay. The Starshade Bros mentioned in the last episode that if you continue to use these Bros Attack action commands, you might learn new commands. And we have not got a single one. This is kind of pitiful. Finally! Quite a bit of damage. So in this episode, we are not going to use a single normal attack. Look at that, two mushrooms. And a level up. This has been a pretty good battle. And Mario with a lot of attack power now. Since we have bros points now, and we're able to use them, let's boost a little bit. Plus two to 13. Not bad. Okay, I don't see how that hit Luigi. But... Oh no! <laughs> That's what happens when the brother in the back gets hit. And Luigi gets to level up at the end of that battle. Luigi levels slightly slower than Mario, but you shouldn't see a noticeable difference. Uh... We'll go for a little more power. Makes battles go quicker. If Luigi would get more than a one anytime. A lot of battles in this area. Now you do have to keep refilling your bros points. If you wish to keep using them. Because you only have so many uses of each one. Before your points run out. And boo. Looks like we're, we're walking around aimlessly right now. For a few more coins. Oops. And we seem to be doing really well on coins. 134. That's a fantastic start. So it looks like we'll have 34 left over by the end of this too. There's another bike pad here, but it doesn't go anywhere. It just goes back to where we already were. Hey, we have returned. Um, I do recommend going into your suitcase right now. And if you've been using bros attacks, refill your bros points with syrup. Because you're really going to want bros attacks coming up here. Ah, nyack. Let's see. 143 coins. Nyack, nyack, nyack. I'll just be taking those coins now. Finally! Let me out of here! Huh? You want out? You want me to help you? Who said I'd do that? That'll be perfectly fair. He just said he'd take our coins. Nyack, nyack, nyack. Nick, 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 you're not in the Mushroom Kingdom anymore. Outsiders be gone! So, this is the Great Tollstar. And it has quite a bit of HP. So you're going to want to be using Bros attacks as much as possible to take it out faster. 
It attacks. It throws these spiky balls at you. They can target either brother, and they can roll along the ground or bounce. If they bounce, you're just going to stand still and you won't be hurt. If they roll, you have to jump. And it's actually pretty tricky. You can't tell who he's going to attack, so it's mainly just your reactions. Yeah. There's the bouncer. And hopefully by now you're good enough with bros attacks that you can get the timing down and make the battle go much quicker. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. But how about this? Nah. Ho ho. Throwing two in the same turn. And we don't even have to do anything to avoid it. And by this point, you shouldn't have much trouble taking him down if you've been good on your bros attack so far. And there he goes. 30 experience for all, and a free 1-Up Mushroom at the end of the battle. If you've fought everything so far, Mario should be leveling up right now, and probably a good idea to boost HP some more. Even though I haven't been taking many hits, you'll probably want a lot of HP if you're playing this for the first time. And for Luigi... Luigi's slow right now. Mario had 23 speed. So we'll boost Luigi's up a little bit. So I'd say that's our first real boss. You, sir, have been griping far too loudly for some time. Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> Mario! Green Stash! He still doesn't know Luigi's name. You gotta get Princess Peach's voice back! It's all up to you! So much for freeing Bowser. Okay then. So, we'll continue. And take our final steps in... I forgot the name of the place. Star, Star Bean, Stardust Fields, what am I talking about? I'm getting my names confused. And we are about to enter a new area. Let's check our map. And we are now in Hoo Hoo Village. So what do they have here? You fiends! Uh oh. Nice greeting to the city. We found you at last, you scum! What have you done with Prince Peasley? Yes, there is no mistake. You kidnapped Prince Peasley. We have witnesses! Now confess, villains! What's that? You say you're Mario and Luigi! I mean... Who else dresses like this? They say they've come here chasing someone called Cacletta! <laughs> oh dear! Oh my! Oh boy! Pardon us, sir. Is so sorry. Do they want our autographs as well? See, our kingdom's Prince Peasley was kidnapped by something. Or so recent reports out of Hoo Hoo Village claim, we've been looking for any sign of the perpetrator. According to eyewitness accounts, the prince's kidnapper wore an odd helmet and spoke of mustard and fink rats. I think we've seen him before. Reopen the investigation! So, I guess... Hoo Hoo Village, somebody took Prince Peasley. This is Hoo Hoo Village on the flanks of Hoo Hoo Mountain. The mountain is a sacred place. Foreshadowing, we will probably have to climb that mountain. If you climb down this mountain, you'll reach the town surrounding Mean Mean Castle. The townsfolk are much more stylish and fashionable than people in this town. I just adore them. Are they cacti? I was never sure. So, if we climb down the mountain, we go to Bean Bean Castle. We should probably go there. House. 
Nice waterfall. I just love this scenery. It's really nice. Uh oh. Mustard and fink rats. Give give back Prince Peasley. Did he suck him into his helmet or something? Because I don't know where else he put him. Gak! You again. You are the pair of fink rats that swooped in with the Bowser that I hate. Hmm. Hmm. I say to you, while I was busy with Peasley, you have been catching me. I have fury! But Kekleta has already begun smearing the butter of Ernette's tasty plan over Bean Bean Castle. Since you two cannot make it in time, I say to you that it is better never than late. So here is your halting place! I have fury! Again. Since you will not be shattering the stone, I laugh at you trying to climb down this mountain. How would we shatter this stone? Can't jump over it. There's apparently a bottomless pit that we can't walk off here. We can't go around it. Somebody in town has to have the answer to this, I'd say. Or maybe we'll have to climb that mountain or something and go around. I don't know, but we'll be dealing with that in the next episode. This has been Deacon with Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Next time, we will try to do something to get this big statue of stone of... Who is that, anyway? I don't know. Anyway, see you next time!